Today we are comparing the ever so popular tailor-made P790 against the new Ping i530. Okay, so we've got two hollow body design clubs. Tailor-made has been super popular in this second generation of the 790 and then this i530 has just been released if you haven't seen my recent video check my review out on the i530 uh, i am very excited to compare these two clubs um, i would say the 790 was my best seller in this category last year uh, but i do think the ping i530 is going to have something to say about that okay so we're going to hit five shots with each club um, initially you know, the, uh, these these sort of head-to-heads are really around combining my feeling on looks, appearance, uh, the feel and sound, and then ultimately you'll be wanting to know about the performance. But if you think about this hollow body club, it's there to tick several boxes, okay? So it's for somebody that wants the feel, wants the sound, but they also need distance, they need forgiveness, okay? So it's combining these two elements which I guess is going to be around for a lot of golfers. You know, you're probably going to see golfers from probably five, six handicap all the way up to perhaps 17, 18. So it's a large, a large, broad audience uh, that are going to be interested in this. OK, so let's start with the 790. OK, um, as I said, it, first of all, in terms of looks, in terms of that playing position, they actually look quite similar, to be honest. I mean, the, the obvious thing with the i530 is the Micromax grooves. They've got more grooves in there to control the spin. Um, the 530 is stronger lofted, 29 degrees as opposed to 30.5. So we're probably gonna see more distance from this 530, but we're looking at overall performance as well, okay? So yeah, plane position, quite similar. Um, you know, it, this does feel very strong, the, the, the 530 looking down at it. It, it certainly looks closer to a six iron than a seven iron. Um, from this behind position, um, as I say, it's always personal really, but I'd probably say the 790 looks a little nicer, um, but it is personal. 530 looks great too. Okay, so let's start off with the TaylorMade. Um, as I said, this has been really, really uh, strong over the last year or so. Um, let's hit a few shots. We're gonna we're gonna be looking at you know ball speed distances, but I want to see that launch angle. I want to see that consistency. See which one's performing the best. That felt good. Yeah, really nice hit. Uh, One twenty one point eight ball speed. One seventy six total. Nice and straight, five feet, eight inches from the flag. We'll take that all day. That felt really good. Yeah, really solid. Some good spin numbers there. You know, that's one thing uh, I really like about this club is we're, we're getting the distance. You know, 180 carry is a big carry for me, but we're getting some good distance numbers as well. So. Uh, a real blend of the two. Not great. So you can see the distance has dropped off. It wasn't a particularly good strike there. Uh, again, just as a reminder for this club, they've got the speed form air in there. So that's helping us uh, retain some good ball speeds off the off, off centre hits. It's got the speed pocket, but it has got that forward, forged face as well. So really trying to get the, the combination. Pretty good. Yeah, felt okay that one. Yeah, as I say, it feels really nice. Okay, one more. That was a solid hit. Probably the best one we've hit there. Yeah, 178. Again, good spin number. So on the whole, it is a great iron. This, there's no doubt about it. It's, uh, it does everything that, that TaylorMade have set out to do. You know, it's, it's got the forgiveness. It's got the speed. It feels quite nice as well. Yeah, it feels a bit hollow, but 
obviously the, that is the uh, the club. So let's compare this new 530. I'm excited to compare the two, see if we can see any major differences between the two. Okay, so as I said, you know, I think, you know, it, it clearly looks strong, but you know, that's, that's really what Ping have set out to do. They're, they're, they're trying to give you the distance, but they want that appearance and feel of a, of, of a, a better player, a better club, if you like. Um, so let's, let's hit a few shots. A little bit toey, but still good distance, yeah. That really wasn't a great strike, and that's that's past most of the, the tailor maids, I think. Again, they've got these perimeter weights on the sort of toe and, and in the shaft in the tip area, so lots of forgiveness in this club. That was nice. Yeah. That's come miles, yeah. And again, you know what? As good as good as that is from a distance point of view, one ninety three carry. The issue for me here is the spin number. Okay, four thousand two hundred is very low. Okay, it's all player dependent. If you hit it high and you need that distance, it's great. But if you're somebody with a slightly quicker club speed, you probably don't want that jumpy one. Okay, because that for me there is if anything, gone a touch too far. Let's see what the other three look like. Yeah, good hit. And to be fair, you know, that's the same, pretty much the same distance, 191. So, you know, it does do what ping are wanting you to get out of it. It does get distance. There's no doubt about that, but the spin is a little on the low side for me. Yeah, good again. Okay, and into the final shot. Decent hit again. 195 okay so my initial feelings are as i said you know only five shots with each club um my initial feelings are that if you're wanting distance the ping is the one for me okay distance it's, it's getting it we'll have a look at the averages in a minute but that seems to be going a long long way okay the drawback of this is the spin's a bit low Yes, it's got the Micromax grooves. That's going to help you retain that spin. Um, but I guess as an all-round club, I feel like the 790 might suit my game better. Okay, but let's have a look. Let me let's take a closer look because both for me feel quite different. Um, obviously, the uh, the ping felt quite hot as expected. Um, so let's let's take a look at these. So. First of all, the P790 here, nice and straight, um, closer to that center line, pr you know, pretty, pretty tight. Okay, nice dispersion. However, you know, you look at the, the ping again, you know, the dispersion is pretty good. You've got three fairly tight, but then the two that have missed, have missed a little further left. Okay, but obviously that's going a long, a, a long way. Okay, so both very different clubs from, from that point of view. Let's take a closer look at the data. And this is gonna be quite interesting. Okay, so we've got the tailor made at the bottom, ping at the top. Swinging it similar, 87 and 88, uh, but big difference in ball speed, 119.8 to 126.3. So a huge difference in ball speed there. Um, smash higher with the, the ping. Ping launching that uh, you know, a lot lower there, 13.7 the ping's launching at compared to 17. And again, we're seeing a big difference in the spin numbers there, 5.5 five to 4.3. Um, and then into the overall height, again, tailor-made higher. Um, 
and then obviously a huge difference there in the distance 174 for 183 total and then 191 to 206 so what's that 17 yards further carry with the ping uh, and then into the dispersion uh, plus or minus 14 feet with the ping plus or minus 13 feet 8 inches um, but only on average four feet left uh, with the tailor made so for me there you know i think it's all about what do you want from the golf club okay so if if i wanted distance from that club then the ping hands down 17 yards further i mean that's you know that's a different ball game completely if i want accuracy and i want a little bit of distance then i'm going tailor made okay so for me personally tailor made wins it but if you're looking for distance that ping takes some beating hope you found that useful guys if you do any any further club reviews let me know in the comments what you'd like to see going forward as always please like and subscribe post any comments down below look forward to seeing you again very soon